Previously on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Hey, Ali. Jimmy Kimmel Live! Tonight, John Hill, Kerry Coon, and music from Dogstar with Cleto and the Cleto. And now, Jimmy Kimmel! day today, a day that since 2012, today has been known as Giving Tuesday. Giving Tuesday, it's basically the sober friend who drives you home after a three-day bender with those dirt bags, Cyber Monday and Black Friday. It's, I think, <laughs> the rule should be that on Giving Tuesday, you have to give a charity the dumbest thing you bought on Cyber Monday. <laughs> and here you go, UNICEF. It's uh, an air fryer with Bluetooth, so. <laughs> American shoppers spent a record $38 billion online over the holiday weekend, and we also donated the, the lowest percentage of our incomes to charity in almost 30 years. Look at this chart. Look, if you look at it, the minute Trump became president in 2017, it was like, we better hang on to our money. <laughs> well, we're buying crap like never before. Cyber Monday is annoying because at the stroke of midnight, every company you ever ordered anything from all suddenly email you at exactly the same time. It's like PetSmart, Etsy, Spectrum, eBay, Adobe, Chewy.com, which I use as a reminder to go down the list. I open each one of these. I'll scroll down to find that magic button at the bottom that says unsubscribe, and then I say goodbye, Dave. Goodbye, Buster. Goodbye, Tushy. Goodbye, Nuts.com. And and I get the same feeling I get when I clean out the garage without having to clean out the garage. It's great. <laughs> the U.S. Forest Service has an idea for how you might want to save some money this holiday season. It's by going to the forest and chopping down a tree for Christmas. They actually want you to do this. Apparently, it's good for the forest, and it's cheap. You know, it only costs 5 to $10 for a permit, and then whatever the gas costs to get you up there and back, and then... Uh, $450 deductible for your visit to the emergency room when you cut off your thumb. <laughs> There's a good idea. Let's give Dad a reason to use that chainsaw he's had in the garage <laughs> for 35 years. I don't know about you, I like to get my Christmas trees the same way the My Pillow guy got his crack. I like to, I like to hand $200 in cash to a man in the parking lot of an abandoned Circuit City, as, as Jesus intended. You know, New York. You don't have to, in New York City, you don't have to go to a lot. You can buy a Christmas tree right off the street. They line them up, but not everyone strolling by is impressed by this. This is why I hate New York, right? So it's Christmas time. So you should look, Christmas trees. You would think like, yeah, bro, they got Christmas trees out. The price is going to be amazing. No. That little ass tree right there, this little ass tree right here, costs $200. Let's go to the big joints. This big right here is 375 This little tree right here is 150 bro. What am I gonna do with that, bro? These reefs right here, you see them? See them up there? Those are 100 bucks. Them is flimsy. This is why I hate New York. I hate Christmas. Bah humbug. I'ma be a Grinch. F y'all. Kiss my ass. This some me right here, bro. Well, then, yeah, don't get us started on the price of the ornaments. This video, somebody needs to take this video and make it into a Christmas song. I'm not paying $300, bro. You know how much Xboxes and PlayStation cost? And f***ing Uggs and f***ing Apple Watches and iPods and iPads and f***ing like that cost? And y'all want to spend $500 for a f***ing tree? Kiss my ass. Mary, kiss my ass. And get that man a movie on the Hallmark Channel. In uh, Washington, the swamp has somehow begun to drain itself. Nearly 40 members of Congress have announced plans to retire at the end of their terms, which is very unusual. I mean, uh, some members are retiring because the House and the Senate have become gridlocked by partisanship, but most of them just want to get away from Lauren Boebert and Ted Cruz. 
One senator who hasn't planned to go is Chuck Grassley from Iowa. He's 89. He's already planning to run for re-election in 2028, when he would be 95 years old. I mean, look at that mean old grass hole. He ain't going nowhere. The unfortunate secret about being a congressman that people, think, people don't know, you spend most of your time calling and begging for money. You're basically a telemarketer who occasionally gets to decide if we send funding to Ukraine. <laughs> Hunter Biden may be heading to Congress. He said, Hunter said he is willing to testify before the House Oversight Committee, but only if it's televised. He wants to do it in public, preferably nude in a hot tub, <laughs> smoking an unfiltered cigarette with a hooker. But he's... <laughs> His legal team wants him to testify out in the open, but Republicans don't want that. They don't want it on TV. They're like, if we don't do this behind closed doors, how are we supposed to make stuff up? <laughs> the chair of the Oversight Committee, it's really, it's something else. James Comer, the man who runs the Oversight Committee, says Hunter Biden's trying to play by his own rules instead of following the rules required of everyone else. That won't stand with House Republicans, which is, of course, hilarious for about 10,000 different reasons, especially <laughs> from James Comer, who went after Joe Biden for giving his brother a $200,000 loan. Turned out he did the same thing for his own brother. So it's really amazing. Even though we see no evidence, and they've seen no evidence, that Joe Biden had anything to do with this, Hunter and the laptop, this will not go away. Joe Biden could become the first president ever to get impeached because his son didn't have Apple Care. <laughs> But nowadays, it's like you can't give your opponents an inch. And these guys are so desperate to smear Joe Biden, they are literally now grasping at straws. Now, DailyMail.com caught Biden sucking on what looks like a milkshake through a straw. <laughs> Could be a smoothie. Looked like chocolate to me. Now, little advice for grown men. If you want to enjoy a milkshake or anything with a straw, please do it in private. It's not a good look. Men should never suck anything through a straw. Really? Uh, is that, is like that a thing now? I don't, I never, anyone feel like Jesse Waters might be going through some sort of an identity crisis? Real men dump their milkshakes all over their nipples. They don't use straws. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. Whoa, Jesse, you better apologize to President Tasty Freeze right now. <laughs> on Fox News, I don't know if you ever turned it on, but everything is Joe Biden's fault. He's even getting his money grubbing hands into our ground beef. You know how much a bottle of ketchup, a medium bottle of ketchup? How much? Six dollars. Hamburger, which is a staple. Hamburger is approaching six dollars a pound. And here's the thing, and I know the White House is very concerned about the price of things. Joe Biden will not be reelected president if hamburger is $6 a pound. America cannot survive on $6 hamburger, and, period. And here's why, Steve. Play it down the pike. It's not just that hamburger. It also hurts hamburger helper. Great point. It's a really good point. It's, you know, it hurts so many hamburger helpers. When Donald Trump was president, hamburger helper was an official White House cabinet position. We got a fascinating look into um, what went down between Trump and his former vice poodle, Mike Pence, on January 6th. The special counsel, they've been quietly conducting their investigation by the book, specifically the book Mike Pence wrote. Well, there are new details emerging about former Vice President Mike Pence's conversations with special counsel Jack Smith, where Pence was questioned about personal notes he took after meetings with then President Trump. And one line of questioning had to do with the placement of a comma in a quote from Pence's book. Pence wrote that he told Trump on Christmas Day 2020, quote, you know, comma, I don't think I have the authority to change the outcome of the election on January 6th. That, that comma there, that's key. ABC News reporting Pence told prosecutors it should never have been placed there, that it was supposed to be an admonishment. Yes, he was supposed to be, you know, I don't think. I have the authority, but instead it looked like, you know, I know. Only, only Mike Pence could get caught up in a controversy about a comma. It's Donald Trump's out there banging porn stars, throwing bottles of ketchup at the wall. Mike Pence is giving sworn testimony about a typographical error, a comma. Though to be fair, commas aren't, they're not really, he's more of a colon guy. You know, he had his, he had his head up Trump for almost four years, but. But commas are important. 
Commas can make quite a difference. For instance, if you add a comma to hang Mike Pence, it becomes hang Mike Pence. <laughs> Pull up a cushion and chill out. Our, um, our show, for those of you who have not been here in person, we're located in the heart of Hollywood. We're right down the street from the world-famous Hollywood Bowl, which is a great concert venue. They have a lot of variety. There's classical music. This month alone, Kiss played the bowl, followed by Mariah Carey. So we did, we positioned ourselves outside the venue for both of those shows to conduct what we call the poll at the bowl. And here's how it works. We're gonna show you a fan, a concert goer. You have to guess whether they're there to see Kiss or Mariah Carey, okay? <laughs> Here we go. I'm Jose, I'm Sway, I'm from San Francisco, Daily City. And Jose, who are you here to see tonight? Kiss or Mariah Carey? Okay, is Jose there to see Mariah Carey or Kiss? What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Unanimous Kiss, all right. Mariah Carey, the GOAT. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I would have paid you for the Kiss fan. Definitely not. No, you're Mariah all the way. Mariah all the way. What's your favorite Mariah song? Uh, Underneath the Stars or Breakdown. And what's your favorite Kiss song? Shoot. Sure. <laughs> Next question. Now, Jose does not want to rock and roll all night. So you get it? You get it how it works? All right, let's go back to the street. My name's Rosalind and I'm from Brisbane, Australia. And Rosalind, who are you here to see tonight? Mariah Carey or Kiss? Okay. <laughs> An Australian and Rosalind come all the way to see Kiss or Mariah Carey. You say Kiss, well, let's see what she says. I'm here to see Kiss. Not Mariah Carey. Definitely not. Did you come from Brisbane? I did. Just to see Kiss? Just to see Kiss. How far would you travel to see Mariah Carey? I wouldn't. <laughs> Probably wouldn't travel to see you either. <laughs> all right, next up. I'm Alice and I'm from California. And. Who are you here to see tonight, Kiss or Mariah Carey? All right, Alice. <laughs> We're split. So, you remember, before you get too excited, there's no prize. <laughs> Mariah Carey. Do you know who Kiss is? No. I'm going to show you. This is Kiss. Wouldn't you want to see them instead? No. Who wears more makeup, you think? Kiss or Mariah Carey? Mariah Carey. <laughs> Kiss, actually, they don't even have to wear makeup anymore. That's just their skin now after 58 years. <laughs> Our next music lover is? I'm Giovanni from Pomona, California, and I don't f around. Okay, I am Giovanni. The Giovanni, who are you here to see tonight? Kiss or Mariah Carey? <laughs> now, this could be a shocker, right? Who the? Is Mariah Carey on the bill? She might be. Wouldn't that be awesome? No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. No, hell no. Mariah Carey, I'm here for Kiss. Yeah, but what if she sang the Christmas song? No, you can't. No. Who says there are no good guys to date out there anymore? All right, I think we have one more. We have one more. Uh, my name is Andrew, and I'm from LA. Andrew, who are you here to see tonight? Kiss or Mariah Carey? Oh. This is tough now. We are split again. Well, now let's find out. Is Andrew at the bowl to see Mariah Carey or Kiss? <laughs> I'm here to see Mariah. No, you're not. Yeah. Do you know any songs of her? I... There's not... Uh, for some reason, the one that's coming to mind is Touch My Body. Touch My Body? Yeah. Is that a real song? I know that's a real song because... Uh, my my first time uh, masturbating as a kid was to that video, and uh, now I'm here to Mariah Carey show with my mom. So that's an interesting full circle. Uh, hopefully you can wait. <laughs> Resist yourself on the drive home. Well, thank you, Andrew. You have a very lucky mom.